Hello everyone, welcome to prayer with me on Thursday. Today is Mary, Martha and Lazarus day, or at least the three companions of Jesus, and we think about their time and their friendship. I'm going to use the, the common worship uh, daily prayer today, and I'm going to use the material from the Church of England website. So I'm going to be looking at the screen and if you want to find this for yourself, the words for yourself, then if you go to the Church of England website and find where it says uh, daily prayer and uh, common worship and find, browse your way through the all the all the pages that they have there. It's not it's not so bad. Go to daily prayer for today. You can pause this if you like, and when you found it, we can we can join in together. So let's begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us, in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now the psalm I'm going to use today is Psalm from Psalm 49, from Psalm 49, and the response to, the, to that is, God shall ransom my soul. Why should I fear in evil days when the malice of my foes surrounds me, such as trust in their goods and glory in the abundance of their riches? God shall ransom my soul. For no one can indeed ransom another, or pay to God the price of deliverance. To ransom a soul is too costly. There is no price one could pay for it, so that they might live forever and never see the grave. God shall ransom my soul. For we see that the wise die also, with the foolish and ignorant they perish and leave their riches to others. God shall ransom my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And a reading from the Old Testament, from the prophecy of Isaiah. On this mountain... The Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of rich food, a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all people, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Now there is... The canticle, which is another word for a song, which has been taken from scripture. And the song taken from scripture, from scripture is from the prophecy of Isaiah. 
Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now a reading from the New Testament. It's from the Gospel of John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Now I'm going to just offer a little thought about all of this today. Um, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, companions of our Lord, as is written in the prayer books, the Gospels describe how Mary, Martha and their brother Lazarus uh, gave Jesus hospitality in their home. Their home was in Bethany, which is just outside Jerusalem. And Jesus is said to have loved all three. After Lazarus's death, Jesus wept and was moved by the sister's grief. He brought Lazarus back from the dead that the glory of God might be shown. Martha recognised Jesus as the Messiah, while Mary anointed his feet, as we read in the Gospel just now. And on another occasion, Mary was commended by Jesus for her attentiveness to his teaching, while Martha served. From this, Mary is traditionally taken to be an example of the contemplative spiritual life, and Martha an example of the active spiritual life. And there's much to be said about the relationship here, um, not least from the prayer that we call the collect of the day. And I'm going to say that prayer. And we can think about friends, friendship, and the value of friendship, particularly for Jesus, for Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, in learning, argument, and hospitality. May we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion, and your power to bring life out of death. Through Jesus Christ, our friend and our brother. Amen. So in friendship, there is learning, there is argument, and there is hospitality. And it's with and through relationship with friendships and with other people that our wisdom grows, that our compassion grows, and we can call each other friend and brother and sister. So this day reminds us of friendship, companionship, and what that means. Let's continue our daily prayer.
and now what we call the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Ancient song that was sung at the birth of John the Baptist. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. That this day may be holy, good and joyful, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may offer to you our worship and our work, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may strive for the well-being of all creation, we pray to you, O Lord. That in the pleasures and pains of life we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. And we may want to think about our own friendships, what they mean to us, how they form us, how they challenge us, and how we are with others. And with thankful hearts, we pray for them. So I'm going to pray that collet prayer again. God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning, argument and hospitality, may we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death. Through Jesus Christ, our friend and brother. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in life eternal. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.